the cold-blooded killings in Dandora. Uh, even the police are Kujangi area. Uh, the reason why I'm breathing really heavy is because we were running from that side. There, though, was there. It's very big. This like many, many acres. Eh? So, up at the base, you know, now that we're gonna make a blanket. Most of the uh -huh. dumping side. We are outside the dumping side. That was so dangerous. We went there like within seconds we were out. I've been to Kayole, Kibera, Majengo and most parts of Nairobi but this is the most dangerous ghetto in Nairobi yo what's up guys how you doing quite on the move right here and i am in the most dangerous estate of Nairobi but first i am in a barber shop just i wanted to shave my hair you know but i realized that i should go in because the time is running it's about uh it's about 3 p.m. right now and you know I can't go there when it's about to be late because of the security issues so I'm right here in the barber shop waiting for a local who was born right here and comes from this area I'm waiting for him so that he can walk me around the area we understand what's going on there we listen to the perspectives of the people who are living there there are lots of very interesting things inside there deep in Dandora a lot they are very unique people there you know what i do as coach on the movie star i move to unique places you know looking for people who can tell me unique stories and andora is a very unique place which has a very unique story you know you don't wanna you know type that dial you know please just wait and see what we are going to experience in this most dangerous ghetto in nairobi so make sure you're subscribing if you haven't be part of this family so that you know i can bring you good videos which you can get entertained educated and also feel interested you understand so let's do this guys let's go we are now getting into inside deep inside dandora this is the most dangerous ghetto of nairobi right? so we are going to go deep inside we see those places which people really fear a lot and i have my guys who are i'm going with in manze tunaenda now ndani kabisa wananipeleka so mnaweza ji introduce naitwaje mimi ni toko madawa masami eh na hiyo ndio place nimezaliwa na hizi ndio area zangu mimi naitwa faruk yasi mimi nimezaliwa hii area dando eh ni biz ni biz gani ama nini mnafanyanga huko sasa sasa tu fanya Okay. That is as a, I can say, improved development by the then government, which was British government, the colonizers of this country, Kenya. It was an improved area, but right now, if you see, it's the, one of the, you know, economic, economically challenged areas. That is after many years, like over 70 years, you know. Yeah. So let's get in to see what's going on here. So this area is called Gorofani, eh? Potmo. Potmo. Potmo, just like Kayole. Yeah, Potmo, Nyayo. Oh. You know, there is a place in Kayole called Potmo. That's in Potmo Big. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There is also a place called Potmo right here in Dandora, just like Kayole. And Potmo, of course, every one of you, you know, if you know a Jamaican artist called Vibes Cartel. 
he comes from Portmore. So the, the inspiration for the name in this area is because of Vibes Cartel. These guys listen to Vibe Cartel a lot. Unaskiza vibe sana eh? Yeah, natambu old boys. Free old boys bana. He's in prison right now. Yeah, talk about Cartel, Cartel. It's a final appeal. Final appeal. By the way, I heard that nilisikia kuna appeal eh? Ilisikizwa. Lakini bado, bado ajatolea vatik. Bado ajatolea. Okay. <laughs> so you can imagine these guys really they are following vibes cartel and in fact they know that there was an appeal there was a hearing you know and they really they are really optimistic that vibes cartel will be released eh? yeah sasa uko hivyo can i walk alone naweza tembea peke yangu hapa usiku I don't tell you what I'm doing. I don't tell you what I'm doing. You know, they are telling me if I can walk alone, you know, it's very dangerous. Hey, gang, what are the gang? Oh, you need gang. What are gang? I'm not going to do it. 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 So I understand these areas, you can walk alone here if you are not coming from this area. These guys are telling me unless you are walking with your God, man. Right? Yeah, so let's continue moving in. So, mostly what we are doing is that we are doing it in Kazgani. Most of what we are doing now, we are on the dumping side, we are on the garbage collection. But we are on the dumping side, we are on the dumping side. Oh, on the dumping side, eh? Oh! Actually, there is a very big dumping site, one of the biggest dumping sites in Africa. And it's located in this area. It's actually controlled by cartels. Yeah, and there, you know, you cannot go there just like that. It's really dangerous. And we will just go and show you the just the glimpse of that area. Yeah. It is in there. So, nasema. Plastic, two plastic. Oh, is on the mat up there, sir. So, we come to the nine and the barra barra and the glass. Yeah. This is the bomb. Wana chikuwa hizo, sisi tuna chikuwa tukifika toto ni tuna shuka Sinu wa toto So mnatumia gari, hizi magari ni za nani? Za mokuru tu, hizi hizi za gava Oh hizi za gava, ni kudandia mnadandia? Ya, kudandia At your own risk Oh at your own risk So melewana na wale madriver Ama watu wana control hizo magari Kwa driver, taki upande Kisa ni mbio yako Bile, kama apa ni ke experience kita dog? Sisi kumbiati, mana kujak kau medan dia? Experience kita dog, kau kambio kita dog, kau pada gari ni pun ada. So the main thing apa ibu ni? Mana tapta cuma plastik, kuncha, tisu, semua paper, mawai, jabu. So mana cukup alam mana pelak awak pis? Mana nak kopi misha? Oh, okay. Na hivi nyinyi nyinyi mlienda shule sisi shule tuliacha eh pia rafiki yako huna na maliza ngo maliza tulimaliza form 4 sasa wengo wameanza kwa form ah uko shule okay eh nangana lakini wewe ulia uliacha mimi niliacha shule okay na nini nilifanya wacha shule lack of money oh ni ndoa eh okay sawa ah, okay.
yeah so guys here we are in the one of the biggest dumping sites in Africa in the world actually the reason why the reason why I'm breathing really heavy is because we were running from that side there though was there it's very big this like many many acres eh, of land so we were running because here I told you it's being controlled by cartels and if they find you here I was told something that is really devastating that if you bring you know if they realize that there is something you are looking for you are not part of them they can kill you and you know bury you inside the this man garbage and nobody will ever find you so let's continue moving right here you know we just doing the filming safely we don't want to get into trouble this is dandora if you are watching this video from here this is dandora one of the most dangerous places in nairobi and in here this is a very big dumping site one of the biggest dumping sites in the world yeah so up a ni what bro 241 241 even the police are kujangi area police sana but also it's dangerous eh? that's the reason why tunakimbia kuna boiler unaweza ingia uza mechini oh kwa kuna boiler boiler ya nini hiyo moto inajiwasha iko chini wow what a hell man. oh yeah yeah <laughs> so he's telling me there is a what's called boiler and there is a, a fire that is lighting inside the garbage and you can step on it my friend go deep inside and you get burned it's very tricky right here so let's continue enjoying this video make sure you leaving a like So we are still walking in the door deep inside but we are outside the dumping site that was so dangerous we went there like within seconds we were out we just wanted to get in and my friend here took us really with a speed man bro bona ulikuwa anatupeleka mbio hivyo wasani akapata do eh eh sasa na jioni lazima ni wachangamushe ndio tinda peto na pia iko aje ndio ulikuwa unashinda ukituambia we need to be fast you pia si mzuri mtu you know people don't go there like me man you know look at my shoes People might think I'm going to investigate something. Eh? Yeah, so let's continue walking around and uh, okay. my guys here you know Bicho and Farouk brought me to the place where they sleep every day man it's very heartbreaking to see them that they don't have a roof in their places they just look for a place where they can shed themselves from the rain and they call it a home so hey huku ni wapi bro hapa ni doton dandora hapa ni total dandora kiangalia total petrol station iko huko iko huko mbele ni karibu eh hapa sakina una kiangalia petrol hii ni main road ya dandora eh na hapa tu kwa road ni place yenye mna dos hapa ni dos eh ndio ya kwanza na nyingine huko au kuna place kama ile nyumba tu abandon just tunaenda tu hapa ah wacha tunini basi kwanza hapa eh So hapa ni base yenu naona hata kuna maka blanket. Yeah. Blanket kuna mattress hapo hivyo. So hakuna mtu anaweza ipa vitu zenu hapa. Hey, I yeah. kitchen pale. Ah. 
Indo Gikoni. This is the place where they cook. Wow. So bro, nini nafanya mkakae hapa? Eh? Ni nini imewafanya mkakae hapa? Dojo. Bila do. Uh -huh. Tukiko na do tungekuwa hapa. Your Dojo. parents? Alafu tena wazazi wengine wako. Wengine najua kama mimi mkoro wangu wako. Lakini si zila lako wake. Mimi ni mtu mkubwa. Si zila lako wako. You mean the house is very small? Yeah, you are your parents house. Yeah, ndogo. So you can stay there. Si zila lako. Okay. Nikila la sasa ndo lalaje kwa kiti ya mama yangu. Nisha kwa mkubwa. Nitakuta mm -hmm. pesa yangu nitachangia kwa. Mm -hmm. Na kuchichengia kuchichengia kwa yangu lazima ndafute hii pesa. Mm -hmm. Na sasa nikienda nikishika gari hapa niende ndafute pesa. Sisi pata pesa mingi. Naweza pata 100, 200, 80. Kio kugumu sana na kaivo. So basically life in Tanzania is really hard. Eh? Yeah, life ni ngumu. Yeah. No. Shikwa shiko vio vio kama si polisi ni mwezi anakuwa ah kama si polisi yeah. polisi tu ndo tu sumbuana na yeye na wenye huku na kuna wenye wenye ishamba na sasa mtu akitaka room lazima tufukuzwe hizi ni nyumba za watu hizi ni nyumba za watu so shule ulisoma mimi shule nilisoma na nilisoma na mashida shida hivi sikumaliza niliachia form 2 2019 kuna ile chaka shule. Azizi tamo ni kurudi shule. Kama sijapata do, labda nipate do kwenye mkoro wangu na dospo ndo nitapende kurudi shule. Usiezi rudi shule na asina do. Naenda shule nisome, alafu tena nikuje nika judge yoni. Tena kesho nirudi nisome. Hiyo ni ngumu. Lakini nikipata ati naenda shule na napata mango kwa safe, chakula iko, do iko, nasoma. Mbona nikusek soma? Your friend, eh? Baruch, eh? Mm. So, pia wewe shida yenye inakufanya kwa hapa ni nini? Si ni poba kitu wewe. Eh. Aja pia si ni wanaume, wewe kwa kwa mfuka. Eh. Hakuna kazi, wewe ingelea crime. Na unatafuta tu zi plastic chuma. Na do na kampuso. Haina haja kuingilia crime. Wewe you told me you are in school. Eh, mimi niko for fondo la maliza hii mwaka sasa. Hey, congratulations man. Mimi nakwambia congratulations because ni tricky sana. Mtu afika hapo na analala kwa hii. So nyinyi ni mabest tu mnakaa pamoja. Eh. Yeah. You are you are, you are security mna ni nyinyi wenyewe. Yeah, Kuna wengine ni vile wameenda kazi. So oh. tuko wengi, tuko wengi. Kama uko wengi eh. Tuko kitu cha round up 20. Mure rende tu mwingine anashuka. Eh. Yeah. So guys, you know, uh, I can say that my experience in Dandora is that the place is so dangerous because when you were walking around, my guy here, Bicho, Bicho was telling me, you know, be careful, lower the camera, you know, because this place is so dangerous, you know. People normally say Kibera is dangerous. No, Kibera is not dangerous. I've been there and I walk alone and nobody was bothering me. I went to Kayole. Kayole is dangerous but not like here. This place man you walk around you see people like they looking at you as they want to <laughs> they want to come for you man and we went to the dumping site. That place is bad. We were running like almost at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour in there because you don't wanna stop. People were staring at you. I can say the cartel from there was staring at us man and you don't wanna keep the eye contact because if you do that they'll come for you, you know? So we went there and we experienced, we were rushing, we wanted just to check the place, how it is, and then we get out. So we got out of there and then we are here. So my uh, friends, yeah, these friends, I met them right here when I was looking for someone who can take me around. I approached them and they were willing and thank God. So we went around successfully. So tell me about the, your experience from this video on Dandora. Actually, for me, I've been to Kayole, Kibera, Majengo, and most parts of Nairobi, but this is the most dangerous ghetto in Nairobi, I can tell you that for free. So, thank you so much guys for watching, make sure you're leaving a comment. Uh, of course you know I go to unique places to look for unique stories from unique people. And there you go, they tell us about the perspectives of their life. And then you, you come and you tell us what, what you think about them, or what you think about that story.
and here we are so make sure you subscribe to our channel Koechi on the move and see you next time bye